Yo guys, welcome back to King Owls, and yes, we're now here for your Mungia versus John Ryder fight prediction now for you guys. And yes, this is a really interesting one in my opinion. I am looking forward to this fight, and honestly, I I don't think John Ryder is any pushover whatsoever. John Ryder is not going to be going anywhere. John Ryder is coming to fight, and John Ryder has got one hell of a chin on him. Same as Munguia, though. Two really, really, really tough guys. And I think we're going to be in for a really, really good scrap this weekend. I'm sure we will be. Um, yeah, look, this is a fight that does intrigue me, to be fair. Munguia is quite a wide favourite coming into this fight. And, of course, he should be. Of course, Munguia should be quite a wide and huge favourite com coming into this fight. No doubt about that. But this is gonna this is gonna be a tough test for Mungia 100 blade percent. This is a tough test for him. I'm trying to look at the official odds for this fight. Hang on, bear with me a sec. So um yeah, Mungia, let me quickly check. Yeah, so yeah, Mungia's well, it's not actually as wide as I thought, actually, but yeah, Mungia's uh two to seven and John Ride is eleven to four. Um yeah, look, I I think John Ryder can cause Munguia issues. 100% he can. Will he be able to win the fight? No, I don't think so. I feel like Munguia is going to end up being too much for him, especially as the fight goes late. I see John Ryder gassing out, not going to lie. But both guys are tough. And I feel like where Munguia thrives is fighting on the outside. Um, and where John Ryder thrives is fighting on the inside. Um, John Ryder can't fight from the outside. He can't in this fight anyway because Mungi is six foot, Ryder's five nine. Mungi has got the reach and the height advantage over John Ryder. John Ryder needs to get this fight up close, and John Ryder is good at getting these fights. And you know, John Ryder is good at getting fights up close. Mungi, I feel like when fights get up close for him, and when someone's really putting the pressure on him, and when someone is um in the pocket, you know, getting some shots off. Uh, on the inside, Mungia doesn't really like that, and Mungia gets hit way too much, uh, in my opinion, when someone's really pressuring him on the inside, Mungia gets hit too much, he's got a great chin though, Mungia, he's got a really good chin, really, really, really tough guy, and he is good at grinding wins out as well, John Ryder is good at grinding wins out, and John Ryder's always in the slugfest, but coming into this fight, looking at both their styles, Mingi is way more skillful than what John Ryder is. John Ryder, you look at him and he's kind of that basic old school fighter. Mingi mixes it up a lot more. And I mean, yeah, Mingi, he's a real good headhunter in my opinion. He really does like to go upstairs and just, you know, really beat you up up top. But, you know, Mingi, we have seen from him, he's got really, really, really strong body, uh, uh, body punches. But I feel like he just needs to mix it up to the body a bit more. And I feel like he's going to have to in this fight because we know for a fact that John Ryder is going to come into this fight and he's going to be digging to the body when he gets those chances up on the inside. He's going to be digging to the body. Munguia, in my opinion, needs to be picking those body shots from range. Munguia does need to, you know, be keeping behind that jab and creating many angles in this fight. That's what I think. I also think a factor coming into this fight is John Ryder took a real beating off Canelo. And, you know, fair play to John Ryder. He always comes to win. And John Ryder went into that Canelo fight and, you know, really went for it and tried to win. But in you see in those last few rounds, though, he was kind of in survival mode, if we're being honest. He was in that, he was in survival mode from, I'd say, round nine to 12. Uh, really, John Ryder, and then you know he's just hoping to stay in it. He was giving Canelo some good, um, some good shots. So he was going to the body well, and that is what he will have to do up on the inside. I feel like if he does go to the body, because I do think at times Munguia does leave himself wide open for body shots at times. But I see John Ryder tiring out, and I see John Ryder walking onto shots because you look at John Ryder. John Ryder doesn't create too many. Angles, he doesn't, he's not really a guy for angle change or anything. Mungia is, and I just see, you know, Ryder attacks in straight lines quite a lot. I see Ryder eventually, you know, being found out by Mungia. Mungia cracking him a bit with that jab, 
crack him a bit with a one-two, and Mungi will eventually start to mix it up at range, keep John Ryder there, and just tee off on him, in my opinion, uh, with some quick shots. Mungi has got ridiculously quick hands as well. So, yeah, look, I do think John Ryder will get success in the fight. I think Mungi will start well. I think John Ryder might come into it and, you know, get some a bit of success in the mid-rounds. In the middle rounds, then I think it might go. Uh, it might go later, and then Mungi is able to get John Ryder out of there. That's how I'm looking at it at the moment. But because yeah, at times John Ryder can leave himself open to be cracked and stuff. He hasn't got loads of head movement, Ryder. But you know, Ryder, he's got a great chin. He's very good at blocking shots as well. But you know, some shots do go through. But yeah, John Ryder, he's always in a slugfest. I mean, he's gonna look to take this fight to Mungi. And John Ryder, you know, he's. John Ryan is ready to die in that ring. He honestly is. He's just ready to go in there for an all-out war. And I feel like that's what he has to do in this fight. Must take the fight to Mungia. I feel like, you know, Ryan has got a good style to be able to beat Mungia, in my opinion, because he's good at getting on the inside and getting his work done. But I just, I just don't think he's at that level that Mungia is at, to be honest with you. I don't think he's at that level. John Ryder has got a good style for it. But I just don't think he's skillful enough and I don't think he's at that level. I also don't think Ryder hits hard enough to be able to get someone like Mungia out of there. Because let's be real, Ryder can't win a decision here. Ryder's not winning a decision against Mungia. Let's be real, he's not. So, yeah, uh, Mungia can win a decision. I see Mungia being able to box uh, outbox on Ryder quite a bit at times, possibly get a finish. It wouldn't surprise me if this fight goes to distance because... You look at John Ryder, he's only been knocked out once in his six losses. He stopped. So, again, if this fight goes the distance, wouldn't surprise me. But Mungia does hit hard, though, and he's really quick. And who knows how much that, that Canelo fight has taken out of John Ryder. Or how much all of John Ryder's fights have taken out of him. He's always in an all-out war. How has it affect him coming to this one? It will be interesting to see. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I, I am. It's going to be interesting. Can't wait. But yeah, I'm going to be going with a Mungia win. Will Mungia knock him out, though, is the question. I'm going to say Mungia stops him. I'm going to say Mungia gets a stoppage in round eight or nine. Eight or nine, Mungia gets a stoppage, I think. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, Kills. Speak to you on a bit. Thanks for watching.